Well, last week, Ray and Mandy told you about the different kinds of line you may want to use when you hit the lakes this summer fishing. On this week's Fishing Tips, they take on the task of rod selection to go along with those lines. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the very basics of setting up pan fishing rods and reels. I think a lot of people think that if you don't know how to fish, you got to go out and spend too much money on rods and reels, and it, you really don't. I think if you look at a very basic setup, in fact, we see a lot of the, uh, the little dory <laughs> kinds of packages that we call them clam packs in the stores where it's just a little pink rod and reel and a lot of kids catch fish on those too. But if you want to go and step up a little bit, we're going to talk a little bit about the kinds of rods that are available and the kinds of reels that are available. And the, the basic three reels that we would be looking at, probably two for the most part, are what we call spin cast, spin cast. that's a closed reel, they're very easy for your kids to use, they usually have a push button at the back end of it, and hardly ever tangles up. The other kind, Mandy's going to talk about a spin cast. We'll just start with the reel, obviously very simple, um, don't have a, a trigger thumb mechanism like the, the Zebcos or the, the spin cast ones, simply flip the bail to cast it out there. They come in a variety again of, of sizes and in prices, and then you go to rods, and normally for pan fishing you're going to want to stay in that ultra light, light to medium light, varying lengths uh, anywhere from 7 feet to 8 feet, but just keeping it really light, a nice light action, so you're going to actually be able to see that bite and feel that bite. So the bottom line is you don't have to spend a lot of money. Uh, you can get a very inexpensive rod and a very ex inexpensive reel. Most of the time we would recommend probably pan fishing with bobbers. And so then the rod doesn't come into play until you're actually setting the hook. And if you get a real light rod, little kids love it when that rod's really bent down. And so that's a lot of fun. But bottom line is get a simple system. You don't have to spend a lot of money and go out there and have a lot of fun. I'm Ray Gildaw with the Nisswa Guides League. And I'm Mandy Eric, the Bassin Biologist. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.